Ah, as the sun rises over the horizon, a new day has dawned. It's a beautiful thing, man. It's beautiful. What's going on, YouTube? My name is Diesel, and today we're back. The Farmer's Dynasty. It's Diesel, Di it's Diesel Designs Dynasty. Triple D's. Which is always fantastic. So what are we going to do? Uh, what are we going to do today, Diesel? Well, let me tell you what we'll do. We got our brand new harvester. We got things to do. We have two fields to... Uh, to harvest. I put the tipper over here so that, that way we can uh, grab our uh, tractor. And just rock and roll it. Um, I do have a little extra cash. I have nine grand, ninety-two hundred dollars, because I wanted to test out to see like how fast it would it would be. Because we got two fields. We got this field, which was made of wheat, and I don't know what this field is over here. I don't know what this is over here. What do we got here? What are you? Canola. Hey, nice. Delicious. Oh, wait, is this a, it's not even done yet? Ready to harvest 99.98%. Are you serious? Hello there. I hate you. I hate you, Siri. So, I think we'll be fine. Um, what I did was we harvested the wheat. And then all the way down here, we had to uh, grab our uh, bale maker. And we grabbed ourselves some bales. And our bay, uh, bale trailer. Got these little bales now, man. And it's been a while since I bailed some stuff in Farming Simulator. So I was like, ah, uh, how's this gonna work? Oh, we have to manually lift them up hand by, uh, you know, from a hand to trailer. From hand to mouth. We go ahead and pick them up. Pick them, uh, I pick things up and put them down. <laughs> Let's go to the gym and get pumped up. Uh, here, bang, bang, uh, shabang, a bang. Any more? Is there any more bales? I don't think there are. Now each, oh, 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 I got confused there for a second. So uh, it actually stacks about, uh, we got five, we can get this one in here, we get two more on here, and then we can put, uh, put five more on top. And a full trailer gives you three grand. 3,000 euros. It's fantastic. And where do you go to sell these uh, sell these wonderful bales? Well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and uh, hop on over. And I'll show you. Okay, so... We're over here at the... Uh, what's it called? What do we want to call it here? The Agricultural Market, which is not too far away from our regular, uh, regular fab. And this is where we go to sell bales and any grain that we need... Prices fluctuate depending on the market. I'm not sure what the market entails, but basically whatever we uh, <laughs> whatever we go to the harvest or plant, this is where we go to sell it. I make some money. Uh, hold on here. It should have popped up something for me. Hold on. I was too busy talking. Too busy chapping. Chapping with you. Chapping. Chapping. I hope you like. Chapin too. Merry Christmas, anybody? Anybody who hasn't uh, seen my latest videos? How dare you? How dare you? I'm disappointed in you, but that's fine. I get it. But uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. It's a good time. Now, normally this thing kind of kicked around when I was right here. Aha! Aha! Bail market. Right there we go. So just this almost uh, kind of half. It's a little over half. I guess it is a little over half. 1950 euros. Fantastic. And we're over 10 grand, baby. I like it. I love it. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to harvest that second field. And we are going to sell our grain. Now, as far as like selling the bales, I'm sure it has something to help out with uh, animals. With piggies and mukals. Maybe even hens. I'm not quite sure. Maybe even chickens. I'm not quite sure. Speaking of chickens, I said we purchased some chickens here too. Get a little, this is what happens. You get a little money, you get a little crazy. But it's Christmas time. You gotta go and buy something. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta help out yourself a little bit there. Give yourself a little taste. Otherwise, I mean, what's, your, what's the point of working? You know what I mean? If you can't treat yourself from time to time by purchasing some hens, which will help out uh, not only with uh, eggs, but I think you can sell eggs. But you can definitely eat them. 
so we don't have to worry about getting any food. I've also put some harvest, some seeds, if you will, into the uh, greenhouse. So we got a full greenhouse uh, growing full zucchini, pumpkins, and tomatoes. It's nice. It's all coming together, folks. It's all coming together. All right. We're going to hit you up there, and you stay right there. Yes, you do. Uh, like I was saying, in our greenhouse, we have full stacks. Look at this. Tomatoes are grown in nice and fresh. And almost ripe. Mm. Mm -mm. But I put in uh, over here, we got uh, zucchinis. Here are tomatoes, and then these two trays are pumpkins. Pumpkin tongue. Woo! Should be a good time. Can't wait to see how much y'all are to sell. Oh, it's gonna be so good. It's gonna be so nice. All right, let's hop into our beat up harvester. And we'll get ourselves lined up here. I say ready for harvest 99.98%. I mean, that's close enough. Really? That'll be fine. Alright, so. Oh, need a header. Thought I had the header attached. Silly goose. Alright, lower down there. Let's turn it on. Now, it's best to set up. Uh, thank you for the uh, comments in the comment section uh, down below. To set up a cruise control button, so I have my, uh, there we go. Now we're just driving in cruise control. I set up a button for the controller, that's what I'm playing on at the moment. So this way, it goes right to 12 kilometers, because if you go over 12 kilometers an hour, uh, a warning pops up saying that your harvest uh, could be damaged, because you're going too fast. I'm like, for real? So I was like, well, alright, well now I gotta make a, uh... Got to make a cruise control now. I know this is going to trigger so many people. <clears throat> this is going to trigger so many people. When I used to harvest in a uh, farming simulator, I uh, used to not care about rows. I mean, we would go back and forth and have proper, proper lanes. But when I was off camera, forget about it. I was doing this. You got to keep yourself entertained every once in a while because you were doing the most, some of the most tedious stuff. Oh no, see, overfilling. Now our capacity, what's our capacity at? Really? Can't really see. Ah, 1166 kilograms. I'm like looking at the uh, menu. It's just odd. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll lift this up. Move this pipe out, our gravy pipe. It's not a gravy pipe. It's our chute. Well, shoot. But it's, uh, harvesting is pretty simple. Pretty straightforward, you know? Nothing too nutty, nothing too crazy. Once you get the cruise control button up there, it's g -g -g golden. Now, you do have to line this up pretty spectacularly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's drop it in there. Now, I believe this holds, I think it was like three or four loads of the wheat. So, got that going on for you. After that, we'll have to dump it out. I don't know, like, what the, uh, per, so per, like, 100 kilograms or 1,000 kilograms, how everything gets priced out. For selling, that is. But we're going to find out, because after we make our, uh, after we get done harvesting here, I'm going to head on over and we're going to sell all this stuff. Because I want to see how much cash we can just b -b -b balance into our bank account. I think it's going to be a pretty, uh, pretty decent amount. I think we're gonna be, I think we're gonna be satisfied. I think so. So, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take care of this field here a little bit. We're gonna start harvesting, getting everything done. Let's lower this down. And when I get everything rock and rolling, I will be right back. See, too fast. See, 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 too fast, I'm sorry. Cruise control. Control, control. Okay, so. We're going back over to uh, our uh, agricultural market because you can't put more than two grains into one silo. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out like 
how do I dump a second grain if I have two fields of two separate things? Like, how do I how do I save some? And apparently, it's not from, <laughs> apparently it's not meant to be saved. So, uh, yeah. So what we'll have to do is sell our canola because our silo is filled with wheat. This is the uh, first uh, dump off. It's a uh, 96%. Whoa, whoa. Uh, 4,000 kilograms, 96% uh, filled up. So we'll see. I believe you can check out the prices. Yeah. It's so a canola, 792 per ton. Right. What's a kilograms a ton? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the metric system. I'm a dumb American. I'm unaware. I'm uneducated. That's a lie. I'm not uneducated. You are getting hungry. I'm getting hungry for cash. That's what I'm getting hungry for. I'm thirsty, sir. These farmers out here be thirsty. All right. So let's dump all of our stuff in here. All right. Look at that money. Look at that cash. Straight cash, homie. So I'm not sure what the benefit is of saving all of your crops. Like, do you need them to feed your moo cows and, and such? Can you use it to have seeds, or do you have to buy the seeds separately? I, I still don't know how to... to I haven't done the, quite the research to see how I put in seeds. Like, where do I fill up at? You know what I mean? I'm unaware. But we're almost done with that field. So once we get done with that field, we'll then have to start plowing and harvesting and... Not harvesting, plow, we'll have to plow, cultivate, and then seed. But I have a feeling that'll be in the next episode. <laughs> I just want to see how much money we can uh, take off of a field. Also, I want to see how much money we're going to get off of wheat, because wheat uh, doesn't look like it's going to be a huge money maker. It doesn't seem like it ever is. You know, it doesn't seem like it ever is. Except if you enjoy bailing, and that's uh, around 9 grand, 10 grand per field, just in bales. So what's the most expensive thing here? Peas. Really? Peas. Canola's up there and loop, lupine, 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 lupine. Tomato, tomato. Let's call the whole thing off. So we'll see. But either way, fantastic. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to need bales and hay for our moo cows, but we don't have any moo cows just yet. So what I'm going to do is we're going to finish up this field. We're going to sell off all of our goods of uh, just rewards and then uh, see how much money we can snag up and see if we can purchase something sound good 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 very good very good indeed all right fields almost done we're almost done folks almost done with the field our first two fields are down the two not down the two that's a uh, bad phrasing uh, in the books there we go that's a good phrasing that's what we need to see that's the kind of inf information I need to know it now. Uh, we'll have this done. So uh, we may even have a full trailer again. So that's, uh, that's looking pretty good. Now, as far as wheat and the prices are concerned, I'm not sure if they fluctuate. So I'm going to see what happens. I, I didn't pay attention when I dumped the uh, canola in the last time. If the price varied when we uh, dropped it off. Because like in Farming Simulator, if you drop off a bunch of canola, the price usually goes down because the demand has been met and we don't need as much anymore. Hence the prices drop. And when I say drop, I mean they drop pretty sharply. It's wild. That was wild. So, let's go ahead and move this out. Come on now. And we'll go sell off all of our grains now. So when I'm thinking about it, this is probably going to snag us what? I mean, that got us like what? 3,000? 3,000 bucks? In our last haul? Let's go ahead and we'll pull the pipe in. Got to get off the pipe. Alright, let's hop in here. Now what are we looking at? 70%. So we're not, obviously we're not going to get as much as we thought. When it comes to the canola, let's get that cruise control on. Cruise control is a savior. Thank you so much, people in the comment section down below. You're helping a man out. I'm trying to make it in this whack-a-day world. So, 
from making, you're not going to make a whole lot from just the wheat itself. But those bales, though, then bales, though, just the bales themselves, 7,500 bucks. Well, three grand, three grand, and then 1950. So it's 8,000, 8,000, 8,500. That's math. And uh, I have a feeling that we'll probably get kind of close to around 10 grand for the wheat with the bales and just the wheat itself. But canola, that'll snag you around 6,000, 7,000, depending on the field and the prices. But once again, I do not know the, if it varies. What's the variation? All right, so canola is 792, and I think that's what it was the last time. So if we dump in canola, it could be something that changes per day, and not so much by how much you dump in. Like, say, if you store a whole bunch of canola in your silos, and then the price goes up, like one day, it's like a ridiculous price. You just spend a day going back and forth, dropping off all that canola, and then move on to the next field. But like I said, I don't know if it... Uh, if it goes up and down, according to the market. If there even is a market. I don't know. I don't think it's a market at all. I think it's going to stay at 792 every single day. Every day. But we're going to test it out because our time is 1451. And by the time we dump off all of our wheat, it's going to be late evening. And then our next day, we are going to have to start plowing and harvesting. and Not harvesting again. I say harvesting again. Cultivating. You are seri seriously, you are like hungry. You are like so hungry, like seriously. There, now we're full. We're full now. That's our condition. Sometimes you gotta see what condition my condition is in. Bow, wow, bow, bow. Turn around. Very good. All right. So now when it comes to seeds, do I have to buy them from the agriculture store? I know I have to buy them from the agriculture store, but are they, is there a place that I can uh, fill up our seeds into, the, into our little cedar? Is this something I gotta back up into? Seems like I would have to do something like that. Because when it comes to buying stuff, I don't have to worry about hauling it. I bought all those tomato seeds and they just showed up in my uh, inventory when I went back to the fam. So I have a feeling that in our shed we have this little like garage. It looks like a place where seeds may go. I'm not quite sure. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm gonna get I'm gonna have to start seeding soon anyway. So uh, and give me some ideas of what good crops work for you so that, that way I can maybe throw them in there. Now of course we're gonna try all the different crops. Hopefully, make a profit. All right, so now that was 792. See, it still said 792 euros. So the price doesn't fluctuate with how much you don't. I mean, maybe you need to go past a certain point. But I'm pretty sure, I have a feeling, I just have a feeling inside myself that it may, if it's uh, going to change, it's going to change per day. It's not going to be something that changes per load. Giggity. So we'll see. So I'm going to go grab all of our wheat, and I will be right back, because we're going to see how much we can get from our wheat. 380 per ton. I don't know. I don't know. I don't like doing math this early. I just, I just, I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. Help. Help. Our trailer of wheat looks a little bit thick. Girl, you thick in the back when it comes to the wheat. It's beautiful. 4,200 kilograms. But I believe it's only getting 360 euros per ton. So it's not going to be... It's a lot. It's not going to be a lot, though, in our wallets. But it'll be enough. And we have to be happy about that. Now, this is the first uh, load, if you will, giggity, of uh, wheat that we're going to drop in here. And I have a feeling that we have about, I think it's going to be another two, two drops in the bucket. Let's see what kind of cash we can roll out. What time is it? Ooh, 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 ah, ah, it's going to be around four o'clock, five o'clock, almost quitting time, man. 
It's five o'clock somewhere. That's right, it's Miller time. Living the high life. It's the life that I live. All right. Can we get over 20 grand in this episode? Oh, we're getting so close. We're getting so close. All right. 18,270. That's getting nice. That's getting nice because we can also trade our uh, social points. And we can get a discount for different uh, brand new equipment. But we will have to buy seeds. I believe. Because I'm selling everything. So we're going to have to purchase some seeds. To reseed our entire fields. But other than that, it's not going to be too crazy. So we're not... Uh, it's not going to be too far off. Maybe another uh, side mission. Help somebody repair their barn. I don't know. We'll get there. We'll get there. But then uh, we'll be able to... Uh, renovate our home. And our farm. Make it all pretty like. If we get that truck. That truck's going to be sweet if we can get our hands on it. Mm-mm. All right. So I realized that I was not recording. We only got another uh, 30, 37% worth of wheat in here so we only had uh, a full trailer and a third to sell so right now currently we have 18,842 euros and now we're gonna head over to the agricultural store because we need seeds I want to buy I want to get some hens it's Christmas time I feel like spending some money it's Christmas Eve I hate doing my Christmas actually no I don't hate doing my Christmas Eve shopping the day before I don't know what it is some people like going to Black Friday I, on the other hand, like to purchase my gifts literally the Saturday before Christmas on the busiest day of the year. Because I wear my elbow pads and I put my game face on. Okay, kids? That's how that's how you that's how everyone in here should do their Christmas shopping. With the threat of violence. I'm just playing. Peace, love, happiness, but seriously. Give yourself a little bit of a of a rush. Not this year, but next year, because it's past, but Saturday before Christmas. Wear some elbow pads. Do, do a couple kettlebells before you head out. Just get yourself in shape. Gotta get seasoned. But we're gonna go over here to the agriculture store. We're gonna have to buy some hens and buy some seeds. And I'm thinking we're gonna get ourselves some lupine seeds. Now the wheat... Oh, so it went from 380 down to 360. Oh, from the wheat. Interesting, my friend. Canola didn't go down. No one hasn't gone anywhere. That price has stayed the same. But we'll get to see in the daytime if it if it fluctuates a little bit. To see, I believe it was 380 and now it's 360. I believe. God, we need a truck. We need a truck so bad it's not even funny. <laughs> I just want to be able to travel to these places without having to take the tractor. The tractor's like, it's cool, but it's annoying. It's like, it's like super, super annoying, okay? I'm a traveler. I got just unlocked an achievement. Traveler. Agriculture store. So, got wheat, maize, barley, stored in the farm storage, stored in the farm storage, peas, lupine. I don't know. I'll tell you what. Let's go for some peas. Peas! They're everywhere! Uh yeah, that'll be fine. Let's just we're gonna we'll get a bunch. Now at the same time, down here, grass. Oh, we can just make grass. Hmm. Oh. This is where I got all the seeds. So you can just fill up your basket however you see fit. We got cows. Hey cow. Hey! Hey cow! Uh, hay cow food, oh cow food, fertilizer, price, oh, okay. So we need hen food, and of course hens. Let's get a good even number. You know what, let's max it out, screw it. Let's go pause to the wall. There we go. That's a lot of, that's a lot of feed, that's a lot of hen food. I don't know how much they, they take. There we go. We're a breeder. Just got another achievement. Breeder. That's right. That's right. Making babies over here. It's like my making babies like it's my job, you know what I mean? Alright, so let's go and check out 
our uh, vehicle store here real quick just see what our goal is going to be because we got some peas I have a feeling that the the pea the pea seeds sounds really <laughs> sounds really bad when I say it like that let's turn on the lights here so we can uh, be seeing like a jogger at night all right so I have a feeling if we just uh, do two fields of peas and we just rock that we'll be able to make 20 grand in no time but I don't know how much seed it takes to uh, plant a field. So I could have just purchased a whole bunch of seeds, but yet that may not be enough. I think it will be. I think it will be just for this round, but I don't know. I don't even know. It's been a, it's been a good day. It's good to own land. Now we'll go, ah, oh, there it is. There's the truck that I want. Ah, that's what I want. Ah, that's what I want. Got a brand new tractor right there. Mm-mm. Oh, yeah. Woo. That's what I want right here. Then we have what looks like... Bye, Zwindheimer. Is this a fertilizer? Or cedar? Fertilizer, it looks like. Uh, you old something for... Slurry. Got a nice little cultivator here. Tipper. Lawn mower. Mm-hmm. And of course, tractor. This. We can totally purchase this. We can totally buy this. We just need to do some side jobs or we need to grow and sell some of our zucchinis and tomatoes and all that fun, fun jazz. Because we're not that far off. We're not that far off. 17,000? Mm. It's a shame, really. Uh, I'll leave that there. Let's see if I can, if we can teleport. We have the power. I'm full of magic. I also fixed the roof of our silo because it needed it. I completely missed the entire top, tippy top of our silo. But that is all cleaned out. Where is the seed? See, this is what I was talking about. Looks like there could be stuff in here. Or is it something where, like, I, I hook up the harv uh, hook up the cedar here, and then I can decide out of our inventory, or do I have to bring that to a certain area? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. Chickens! We got chickens, yo! Yo, chickens! Hey! Oh my god, it's the chickens! We got so many chickens, everybody! We got so much chickens. Boom. How about the inside of this joint? Do I have to do anything? Or do I just have to buy the feed and the chickens? Papa? Seems like all I need to buy is the feed. I don't need to like come over here every single day and feed them. I just gotta go to the agriculture store and buy some. Wunderbar. Fantastic. So, I don't know where the eggs pop out. Well, we don't know where they pop out, but like where they, like where I can collect them. That's what I mean. Don't be gross. I'm feeling it's somewhere in here. Or we'll just show up in our inventory. I would not be surprised. So, let's do a little experiment here real quick. Let's go ahead and we'll go to sleep. And see if those prices fluctuate from day to day. I don't know. Whoa. Whoa. I left the door open. I love raccoons. You never know. You never know. You never know when you <laughs> when you're gonna wake up and you find a buddy sitting next to you. All right. You're feeling well rested and strong again. Oh yeah. Getting a little hungry, huh? Let's get a little zucchini soup. Some zucchini soup in our bellies. Delicious. And nutritious. All right. How about these prices? They are still the same. Interesting. So, uh, we bought the peas, which is going to be 891 euros per ton. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to stay the same. I don't think it's going to. I think it's going to stay exactly the same. Which is fine. I'm fine with that. I'm A-OK. -okay. But now, the real fun starts. Because now I have to go ahead and plow our fields. 
I don't want to do that. But, well, not now. <laughs> I'm spent. I am spent, my friends. Chickens, hey, man. Um, I hear you're supposed to give me some eggs. But I don't know where to collect your eggs. Let me know in the comment section down below. I will find out. I, I, will, fi I will find out. I will find out where I can get myself some eggs. Oh, look at you. Ermagerd eggs. Hey, man. Hey, man. Information, two eggs. Thanks. Can I sell? Can I just straight up sell these? Oh, look at all of them. Can I, now, can these be sold at the market over there? Or can I... I'm just going to straight up eat them. I'm going to eat them right in front of the chickens. I'm going to be like, hey guys, look at this. Watch this. They're going to be like, oh my god, you're eating our babies. I'm like, no, I'm not. 24 eggs in one day. Less than one day. Counts as 10 nutrition. Can be eaten raw or used to prepare delicious dishes. I have no idea how to prepare delicious dishes, because our kitchen is a mess. Oh, let's see what our uh, let's see what our greenhouse is yielding. Oh, look, I can see the greenery. Oh, it looks so pretty. Oh, it looks so oh, it looks so pretty. They're still not quite there yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. When you walk in here, it just smells fresh. Mm-hmm. Very, very cool. But folks, that is gonna be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means hit that like button, help some channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week, folks. Have a great day, afternoon, evening, a good night. You will be mine. Oh yes. You will be mine. Peace out, like shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Farmer's Dynasty next time let's turn around now i gotta go back and make a little money because i am almost broke well, i will i will be broke i'm gonna be broke after i buy that sweet sweet truck sweet sweet truck